1972, Detroit captured its only NCAA national championship. The sport was fencing, and the superstar was Tyrone Simmons, who was also named the individual foil champion in both 1971 and 1972. Simmons was surrounded by an outstanding men's fencing team, which included Bob and Rick Birchbeck, Ken Blake, Pat Clancy, Eric Cintron, Steve Conti, Greg Givens, Freddie Hooker, Dave and Jim Kenny, Greg Kocab, Linderick Leonard, Charles Rausch, and Carlton Stanton. In the 1972 season, Detroit posted an astonishing 19-1 record, with Simmons leading Detroit with a 43-4 dual meet record on the season. While Ken Blake finished the dual season at 46-6 in the Sabre, and Fred Hooker went 33-11 in the APEC. Simmons ended up winning the foil competition. Blake took second in the Sabre, and Hooker captured fourth in the APEC. In addition to being the first trio of African Americans to win the fencing crown, all three members of the squad earned All-America honors. Congratulations to the 1972 fencing team on your induction into the Titan Hall of Fame. One of the best women's soccer players to wear the red, white, and blue at Detroit. Mary Latham Parker was a four-time all-conference first team selection, four-time all-tournament team, and two-time Horizon League Player of the Year. Latham was a member of the 2004 Horizon League Championship team, which is the only team, other than men's basketball, to win an NCAA tournament game with a 3-2 win over Michigan, played at Ohio State. Her academic honors during her time at UDM are both impressive and numerous. A two-time selection to the ESPN The Magazine Academic All-District First Team, COSIDA All-American First Team, NSCAA Adidas College Women's Scholar All-American Team, and the NSCAA Adidas College Women's Scholar All-Central Region Team. She was also tabbed to the Soccer Buzz All Great Lakes Region First Team, Second Team, and Third Team. She was also named the Detroit President's Award winner as a senior, given to the most outstanding senior student athlete at the university, the athletic department's highest honor, and was the recipient of the Horizon League Cecil N. Coleman Medal of Honor in 2007. Presented annually to the Horizon League's top male and female student athletes who best exemplify the dignity and high purpose of the Horizon League and its membership. Mary Latham was named the Horizon League Tournament MVP in 2003 and finished her collegiate career ranked among the top five in career goals and points at Detroit. Congratulations, Mary Latham Parker, on your induction into the Titan Hall of Fame. In 1995, MCC Newcomer of the Year and 1997 Player of the Year, George Ferreira finished his soccer career at Detroit as the all-time leading scorer with 54 goals and 127 points. Ferreira was named to the MCC First Team all four years with the Titans and was named to the MCC All-Tournament Team in 1996 and 1998. He also set the Titans' single-season scoring record with 16 goals during the 1998 campaign. Ferreira helped lead the Titans to their first and only NCAA tournament appearance in 1996, following a 2-0 win over Butler in the MCC Championship game. Congratulations, George Ferreira, on your induction into the Titan Hall of Fame. Lee Norick was a 6'7 center for the Titans basketball team in 1942 and 1943. While attending Detroit, he led the team in scoring with 12.1 points per game and led the Titans to a 15-5 record in 1942. With World War II raging on, Lee Norick left to enlist in the United States Navy and serve in the Pacific Theater. Following his return from the armed forces, it was rumored that Norick would either enroll in the University of Toledo, sign a professional basketball contract, or drop out of competition altogether. However, Norick opted for a fourth option, returning to the University of Detroit to play another season with the Titans. In only 15 games, he finished the 1946-47 season with 208 points, second on the team. Norick graduated and moved on to play professionally with the New York Knicks, where he participated in the first NBA game on November 1, 1946. Norick remained with the Knicks until 1950, before finishing his professional playing career with the Baltimore Bullets that same year, finishing his career with 873 points and 206 assists. Congratulations to the Norick family on Lee's induction into the Titan Hall of Fame. 
A four-year letter winner on the hardwood, Lisa Blackburn came to Detroit in 1978, just one year after the Titan women's basketball team made its debut. Detroit posted 20 win seasons in all four of her years on the team, including a school record 27-4 mark during her freshman campaign. Altogether, the Titans compiled 95 wins during her career, including victories over nationally ranked programs in number three Kansas and number nine North Carolina State. Her Titan teams won three straight state titles from 1979 to 1981 and finished runner-up in the regionals in 1979 and 1980. The 1980 Titan squad also became the first to be invited to a national tournament as it earned a bid to the Association for Intercollegiate Athletics for Women National Tournament. The Titans were also nationally ranked during the 1978-79 and 1979-1980 seasons. Lisa Blackburn played in 104 career games, averaging 13.8 points per game. To this day, she ranks third in the Titan record book in rebounds, seventh in steals, and tenth in assists, and is still fifth all-time in school history with 1,440 points. Congratulations to the Blackburn family on Lisa's induction into the Titan Hall of Fame. Kim Hemstreet graduated from UDM in 2002, but her legacy lives on as she still remains the only women's cross country or track and field athlete to compete at the NCAA Division I Championships. Her decorated career included three All Horizon League accolades, as well as the magical 2002 season that saw her win the Horizon League Championship in 17 minutes and 33 seconds, taking home the conference's Athlete of the Year honor. Kim was also named the Horizon League Indoor Track and Field Athlete of the Year in 2003. She helped the Titans win the 2002 Indoor Horizon League Track and Field Championships, as well as take runner-up in 2001 and 2003 and second place in the Outdoor League meet in 2001 and 2002. She moved on to the NCAA Great Lakes Regional, finishing a school best 12th in 21 minutes and 45 seconds, and then earned a top 100 finish at the NCAA Division I Championships with a time of 21 minutes and 13 seconds. She capped off that season showing her true Titan student athlete character by being named to the USTFCCA All-Academic Team, also the only Titan to earn that selection. Hemstreet still owns the Titan record for her 17-minute, 33-second, 5K cross-country run at Montrose Beach in Chicago. In track, she is a Titan record holder in the 3,000, 5,000, and 10,000 meters, and was the Indoor Horizon League champion in 2002 and 2003 in the 5,000 meter as well as the 3,000 meter in 2003. Congratulations, Kim Hemstreet, on your induction into the Titan Hall of Fame. For 15 seasons, Coach Perry Watson roamed the sidelines in Callahan Hall, rebuilding the Titans into three-time conference champions and one of the most feared mid-major programs in the nation. Under Coach Watson, Detroit posted four straight 20-win seasons from 1998 to 2001, a school record, as well as tying another school mark with 25 victories in 1998, 1999, and 2001. During those dominant years, the Titans recorded the longest home winning streak in the country, reaching 39 games at its height. Claiming a pair of NCAA tournament and NIT bids during his tenure, Coach Watson didn't just get the Titans to the postseason, he guided them to a number of upset victories, including a win over St. John's in the 1998 NCAA tournament, Detroit's first postseason appearance in 19 years. The following season, UDM shocked the basketball world again, defeating nationally ranked UCLA in the first round. Coach Watson retired as the second winningest head coach in Titan history, compiling 261 wins, trailing only UDM's legendary Bob Callahan. Congratulations, Coach Watson, on your induction into the Titan Hall of Fame.